Hi again friends and welcome back to the AFK vlogs. This is going to be a two-part weekend series where we're starting off at the Palms Resort here to meet up with our hometown friends Michelle and Jimmy for a super local favorite buffet for their prime rib night and crab legs. Their selection isn't the craziest or the best as you see something at Bacchanal or the Wynn, but as a local, it really does have your everyday wants without all the hustle and bustle of actually going onto the strip. We definitely be coming back ourselves and bringing our other friends and family here as well. They also have a really good selection and section for vegan and vegetarian options, which is really quite rare for a lot of buffets. But of course, I came here to get myself a bunch of crab legs and seafood to make it worth it. They also have a really super homey selection for the dessert section, which I call homey because it's not your usual flashy panna cotta type of desserts, but it's very classic things like various cakes, cookies, cheesecakes, gelato, and even bread pudding and other pies. Also a really cool and unique find here at the dessert section, they also have a pineapple Dole Whip soft serve machine, but I totally forgot to film that, but it definitely hit the spot. Next day after running some light errands, we found ourselves at the Tonton Katsuya for lunch where they serve curated tempura sets like thick pork loin katsus, jumbo scallops, and so much more. Not only is the interior decorated and themed so well, but the experience itself is so adorable. You get this little bowl of toasted sesame seeds where you grind it up to bring out the aroma, and then after you add this delicious katsu dipping sauce. If you get the thick gut katsu set like us, it does get paired with a bowl of rice, miso soup, pickles, and some finely shredded cabbage paired with this super addictive sauce that I wish I can put on all of my salads. Definitely an easy top 5 places we've eaten so far here in Las Vegas. But on that note, we forgot to vlog the rest of the weekend, so on to the next weekend we go. We're starting off the vlog later on on that Friday evening after our work days. We stopped by our first car wash since the move here, and it's so cool to see these standalone ones where you can get subscriptions for the washes and various kinds. Our car definitely needed a good wash, as you know, we're out in the desert, so sometimes it can get a bit dusty, and you gotta stay fresh and clean, right? Here's a peep at the latest hotel and casino opening up in the southwest part of Las Vegas called the Durango. What's great about having these is that locals can enjoy things like spas and dining and entertainment options without having to go onto the strip and at a lower price. We're here at our guilty pleasure place, Raising Cane's, for a quick dinner since tonight we're heading off to our first corgi meetup at the park. We're so happy to have this location and it's just so easy to go to. Our old location in Oakland, California was not great in both wait times and you couldn't even go into the location just due to the crime rate. So we're thankful to have this small life upgrade. And of course, you have to get your tenders extra crispy because really, that's the only way to go. Now off to our corgi meetup and shout out to those fluffy evening clouds in the desert. And look at all these cute little corgis. We're so shocked to see all the tricolored ones as we're so used to seeing the regular brown latte looking ones. But of course, there were also so many other doggy breed friends there too, as this wasn't an exclusive park event. A Miss Tashi did really well. If you knew her before, she's actually preferred any other breed to be besties with, but we're really happy to see her exposed to her own kind. We decided to treat ourselves to the start of the weekend by grabbing some late night donuts at Pinkbox. They have really unique and classic flavors and they even have cronuts. Definitely come check this place out if you're here and most of them are open 24 seven. And you can see we had a really successful park time as now baby girl is now pooped. It's the next morning and we're off to a back to back dog park day for Dashi. We head to one of our favorite dog parks to meet up with other doggy friends and our new friends with their dog too. Today we're at the all sizes dog park since the small one is closed for the month. This side is also really cute too since they have a lot of obstacle courses and it's a lot bigger in size. And you can see here, it's Dashi and Katsu's first time trying out one of the obstacles, and they did so good. But nothing also some treat and nose leading can't do to help them out. Thank you. 
On our way home, we stopped by Home Goods as it's a great place to get dog and home items. And it's actually really dog friendly as well, so Dashi can go in. I did see a rumor on TikTok that the Home Goods are replacing a lot of their kids sections to make room for more pet items. And as a pet parent, we're definitely not complaining. Testing to see if Miss Dashi likes any of the bones or treats, and she definitely seems to be digging this one even though it's way too big for her size. After dropping off Miss Dashi so she can take a nap after her playtime, we decided to try out this Hawaiian food place called Bulls LV, which is located in this food hall type of building. We were excited to try this place out since it was recommended on a lot of YouTuber channels, but we found it somewhat amiss for us since the flavors weren't as impressive and the chicken a bit soggy, so not sure if we'll be coming back. We also stopped by a new sugarcane drink place called Sugar Mama, which is really good and you can get them even in a smoothie and slushy form. We start winding down our Sunday evening with some guilty pleasure trash TV with The Bachelorette. Do you have a favorite trash TV show you can't help but watch? Let us know down in the comments below. Ours is currently this and 90 Day Fiance Last Resort. Now enjoy this slight ASMR montage of us cleaning our place after a long week. After all, we still have to be adults. Now it's dinner time for all three of us, and then the short night walk to the doggy dog park in our area. Thank you so much friends for coming along with us on our chill weekends. Next time we're hoping to go to some small events, but there is a tropical storm warning, so stay tuned until next time to see if that really happens. Again, I'm Jen, one half of the Ginger AFK duo, and we hope you have a good rest of your week and catch you guys on the next vlog. Bye!